the pin, lock O. The Daily Interlake. Flatheads Alejandro and Joaquin Calderon are a dynamic duel as wrestlers and brothers, but the stage was set perfectly for a display of brotherly jealousy. It was at December Sierra Nevada Classic, a prestigious 90-plus team wrestling tournament in Reno. Flathead senior Alejandro Calderon had just lost the 7th and 8th place match at 119 pounds. Now 8th place at that tournament is a terrific accomplishment. But Alejandro's younger brother, Joaquin, was about to wrestle in the championship match at 125 pounds. Alejandro was upset about his loss and it would have been easy to understand if he had harbored the tiniest bit of jealousy. So from my point of view, um, Joaquin just went in the tournament and everything. It was like, for me just losing, it's kind of hard, you know, but still, I wanted my brother to win because when you have a younger brother, you want you want to push him to the limit, and so so he's better than you. So, uh, watching him wrestle some of the best in the nation, because that guy he wrestled at the finals was really good. And I, I don't get jealous. I mean, people say they get jealous, but I know I don't get jealous. Even why is it that you don't get jealous? Because uh, he's my younger brother. I want him to be better than me. The weekend right after Reno, Alejandro won the um, Rocky Mountain Classic, and. That made me like really happy to see my brother winning a tournament that he really wanted to win. My little brother is like, I should push him to the limit and I want him to be better, so it's kind of hard to get jealous of that. For me, having a big brother that wrestles, he makes me really happy because he's right there beside me, always helping me and always making me better. So, but I still can't beat him. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Is that true? Well, I don't know. It depends, because he's like a way better wrestler than me. But I think it goes back to that brother, older being an older brother type thing. Because he's like 50 times better wrestler than me, but like sometimes I just like push him out and it's like over. But you see him wrestling bigger guys and I, I can't take him down. He's like, Tch -tch -tch, they're done. We, we don't really talk about if he can beat me or if I can beat him, because like people ask us, can you beat your brother? Yeah, it's like, oh. And I'm like, dude, who knows if I can beat him or if I can't? Doesn't really matter. It's, it's not just, important to you. It's not important. We just wrestle. So have fun. Uh, one thing about my brother is that, like, when he's practicing, he's like always competing, always 120 percent, no matter what. That's why he's such a great wrestler. Sorry. <laughs> That's why I'm better. Cause you make me better. Our mother sets a great example for us because she never displays like jealousy towards anyone. She's always, um, like when people are talking or anything and they're like talking about how much they got and all that stuff, she's like smiles and is like, yeah, that's cool, that's good for you, you know, like she doesn't show any jealousy at all, so. Yeah, she's always happy for the other person. How does God play into all this? Before I wrestle, I pray to God and I thank him uh, for where I am. And I also just talk to him and thank him for my brother who's right beside me, helping me. And I also pray for my brother so he'll do good. I'm never jealous of my brother because he's awesome and he's pretty much amazing. And I love him.